grass was greener years ago I swear it used to grow here But no more here the Dear Hillary campaign started last summer and it was part of this um, bigger project to work with the Congolese community here in Burlington. We have a lot of um, refugees that we wanted to work with and we started building relationships with them and having meetings with them and we asked them, what do you need here, this um, underserved community in our community, how can we help you? And they basically told us, you know, we're good here, we have a roof up over our heads, we are happy here, but what's really, um, what needs the most to be done is um, to help our friends and family that are still in the Congo. So they asked us, rather than giving them sort of service type work, they really wanted advocacy. I got involved with the Dear Hillary campaign for the Congo for intellectual reasons. I'm a peace and justice minor and I um, learned about the devastation in the Congo and heard the stories and it's not an issue you can just learn about. It's something you need to take action on. Used to come to run here, load the guns here, and tell me why it's okay to kill in the name of the gods we pray. Tell me who said it's okay social media like Twitter and Facebook and our website um, to really get the word out and we partnered, we used listservs of groups like the Enough Project and Eve Ensler's B-Day and just sort of messaged out um, everywhere we could and the network grew from there. All to do is to be in the arms of someone who believes in me like I believe in you and I say hey world what you say I've always been passionate about social justice issues and I was really inspired by the work that students did last semester in starting the campaign. Um, I just think it's really important that it's a student-led campaign um, and it's an issue that's not really talked about in the media and the government that much and it's great that it's students that are trying to bring that into the light of I came up with the idea for Join Hands for Congo event on April 8th because I wanted to symbolize to the State Department and the Obama administration that we are creating a public outcry for the Congo and recognizing that everyone involved has a responsibility and a duty to call for U.S. diplomatic action in the Congo. We're also going to have a huge petition to sign stating our demands to people in the State Department, particularly the Republican. We want everyone to come together and just really um, hold hands in solidarity around the State Department and have almost a moment of silence for everything that is going on in the Congo. Just believe in me like I believe in you. Don't give up on me. Hey,